Hey guys, uh, this is my latest mod. Um, this is a Vulex, a Hori Vulex Diamond Edition. So, the story is when I got this, how I got this was uh, first, if you remember from a past video, I had a, uh, a Wii tournament stick. What I wanted to do was I wanted to modify that even more and paint it white so I can have a nice, uh, nice Wii looking tournament stick. Uh, that didn't come out the way I wanted it to so when I started painting it the paint would rub off and then to top it all off the uh, uh, when I was starting to clear coat it one side came out awesome and then when I started doing the sides uh, they started crinkling up and then I had to shave it down I had to sand it down and then uh, that didn't turn out well and it was just it was just one thing after another where I was not I was not uh, really happy with the stick so I just took it all apart. I was gonna sell it for parts, and then this came in. I saw it on the forum that I go to a lot, and um, this guy was selling it for um, half the price of what it really goes for. It really goes for about three hundred and fifty dollars, but I I bought it uh, way less than that, more than more than half less than that. Um, but the but the kicker about it is the guy tried to modify it and to make it into super gun. If you remember my other video where I made a super gun, it was um, th th that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to make something like that, but he he said that it wasn't coming out the way he wanted it to, so he was he was selling it. The problem was that he didn't have any of the innards, no wiring, no nothing that was that was that was made for this thing. So what he gave me was basically a shell. Uh, so when I got it. I opened it up. It was there's nothing in it except for a, a blank. I'll show you right now. But there's a blank um, piece of plastic here. This the PCB. Thank God the PCB was still in there. But the wiring for it was uh, strained out. So I was like, okay, no problem. I can take care of that. So what I did was first, all the buttons were white. Everything was white, including the the ball top. Changed that out. Put my blue st blue uh, blue Sanwa. Um, buttons that I got from my tournament stick. I got this that I was going to put in my tournament stick and this too. This was the sleeve and the dust cover and the ball top. You can see this ball top is pretty cool. It has It's a bubble top. It's pretty sweet. Anyway. Um, let's see. What can I show you first? Well, first off, I changed all the buttons out. Uh, I didn't like how the other buttons were because he they, there were buttons on this, like I said, there were buttons on this, but they weren't feeling very, they were loose. I guess he was using it a lot, so they were kind of loose. So I just changed them all out from the tournament stick um, buttons. And uh, let me show you what else. He also made a hole here in the compartment where he was going to make the Jamo har the, a Jamo harness come out uh, and I guess leave it in here. It It's a big hole, but it's not that big to where I couldn't cover it up, so... I'll show you in a little bit what I did, but first let me open this up if I can with one hand. I highly doubt I can, but I'm going to try. I can't. There it is. All right, let me show you what I did in here. Go to the other side and get a good look. Uh, this is all new wiring that I put in. Luckily, as you can see, it had most of the parts. This I, I got from the tournament stick, and uh, most of the wiring is, is new. It came off this harness here. I'll show you right now. This little harness I had lying around, and I was like, "Perfect! It's perfect just for this." It has a start. <laughs> I can make the start button. All these, all these buttons, including this, run to this. But all of what the kicker is, there's only one ground, which is not that bad. I can daisy, I daisy chained all the grounds to this one ground in here. As you can tell, it's it's very clean. Uh, I try to make it as clean as possible, as you can tell. But uh, as you can see here, he drills some holes in here. But you can't really tell once you turn this over. You can't see the, those holes that well. But uh, that's one blemish there is. Uh, but uh, let me show you what I got in here. As you can see, I put in the peewee that I got from the other tournament stick. I uh, wired it all up and stuff. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get a good shot in there. Yeah, there it is. I put in diff I put on all these little... Um, all these little um, harnesses, not harnesses, they're little connections. I put all these little connections, I crimped them on. 
I soldered them just in case there was loose connections because they were when I started f f putting these on they were falling off so I had to solder them all on I soldered the uh, the line to where I'll show you in a little bit and if you can tell let me see if I can get a good look in here there's another board in there it's called the PS360 plus what that board does that board lets you play 360, PlayStation 3, 2, and 1, Dreamcast, Xbox One, and I believe, and that that's, I think, everything, and PC, of course. But uh, it runs all those, uh, all those um, consoles on one, one board, which really is really, really cool. What's also cool is, as I told you, the, the wine was all dangling out of here, so I connected it to this board where I can actually have the LEDs lining up. Uh, the home key, the select button. The only thing that doesn't work is the turbo button, of course. And these don't work either. There's nothing really I can connect this to. I can probably connect this one to the uh, to the Pee but it's a lot easier if I just use the. Uh, there's some pre configured uh, uh, settings I can do through the Wii Remote where I don't have to wire up another one. But I just put this Molux, this connector in just in case. But you can all do that through the the the. Um, the um, through the Wii stick, with, through the Wii remote. What this actually does is it lets you use either the D-pad, the left stick, or the right stick on the uh, on the uh, what do you call it on the classic controller. That's what all it does. But you can do that all all through the through the um, the Wii remote. From what I've read, I really haven't tried it, but I don't have a, I don't have a classic stick, and most of the games that I use use D-pad. Okay, the problem that I had putting in this thing, I got a little anxious. I started building, I started making the harnesses, I made. I started making everything. The problem with this board was the connection wasn't right. The connection was not a direct connection to this. As you can tell, it's a smaller connection to this. Let me take this off. Let's see if I can. This connection is basically the same pinouts as a... Um, as like a, to a hard drive or anything like that, as you can tell, this thing will not, it's not gonna fit in there, it's way too too small. So what I had to do is I had to find something, so I, I started scrounging around in my PC parts, and I found this connector. When I found this connector, I slid it in, it fit perfect, it was the first, it was the perfect pinout on this, and uh, what I had to do is I had to desolder some, some connectors off motherboards to get these connectors in. So what I did was I did that, I wired them up, and uh, I threw them all and put a hot glue on them so they won't be sliding in and out. Because if you, if you desolder these off a board, they're going to fall out. So you have what you have to do is you have to solder them, you have to desolder it, solder the wire, put glue on them. Because you, you're you going to have problems if you don't. Uh, if you can tell, I put another one here. Because this this board does not do Wii, from what I've read. Uh, there might be an update later on, but right now there's no Wii uh, update to it. So what I do to get this running is, let's see if I can put this back in. Oh, if you can tell right here, also, there's some wires sticking out. The reason why there's wires sticking out is because these are 5 volts and ground uh, connections. I really don't need them for anything. Everything is running off inside the board and everything's running fine, so I don't have to run any more wiring to this. I hot glued it just in case... Um, in case something happened, if anything got touched, so nothing, none of the connections are gonna, are gonna get, uh, we call it shocked or anything. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna put this back on. So what I do to get this running, I have to connect this connector here, and that's it. There, I have my PlayStation 3, my 360, whatever console. It's ready to go. When I need to use it for the Wii, I just unplug it and I plug it into this one. Very simple. As you can tell, this is the actual this is the actual board, the only board that I saw that actually came in. This housing. So what I had to do is I had to shave it down because this thing was sticking up like this. I shaved it all down, drilled holes, and mounted these two boards in there. Very cool. I don't know if you can see inside there. I'll try and get you a good angle but there's no light to this but uh, as you can see right here also there's a there's this wiring this wiring goes to the LEDs where you can actually see first player second player third player fourth player that's pretty cool 
and let me show you over here. This is the connector that's coming through to the to to this compartment here. This is an RJ45 connector. It's basically your standard uh, internet cable. So you can tell it's running a line all the way down to the other side of this board where it's connected, as you can see right there. It's running through because uh, how this thing is connected, you have to use RJ45s, where the little connect the little connectors you use for for internet cable. I'll show you in a little bit what that what you got to do, but uh, I just wanted to show you what I have in here also. I got two spare um, tournament stick uh, buttons, as you can see. Very cool. Those are the yeah, last two black ones that they had on them. And uh, what also there's also three screw holes here that that hold this panel in place as you can see he didn't he didn't give me those uh, so I have to figure out what I'm gonna do later but this thing once you shut it down once you sh close it it's it's pretty solid you don't have to worry about that also this thing is pretty heavy but it's pretty it's pretty comfortable on your lap okay this is the Wii Wii connector coming underneath that RJ45 as you can see right there and this is the actual tournament stick wire that I got with an RJ45 as you can see I had to I had to run the pinouts correctly there you go not that hard actually, it wasn't that hard, it wasn't that difficult to, uh, to run these lines in here. Worked out very well, put some heat shrink on it to make it look kind of nice. So all you gotta do is uh, connect this and now you have a, uh, a USB cable connected to it. I do have a uh, Dreamcast one lying around, if I can find it I'll probably show you how it runs on Dreamcast in a little bit. But right now I guess I'll show you how it runs on the 360. Um, I'm gonna see. Let me think if I have any other things other than this. Well, that's about it. This is an insanely good stick. It runs very well. I I am very impressed with what I did here. I I, I really thought I was gonna have uh, problems with it, but no, I didn't have any problems with it. I triple checked every connection. I checked if everything had continuity. I, had, I checked this thing before I turn it on man because if this thing shorts out I'm screwed the the board itself cost about sixty dollars so I don't want to buy another one and they're pretty much sold out now uh, you can't really get those boards the only one that you can really get is the PUE board but I'm not gonna be playing Wii that much anyway but uh, uh let me uh, get this thing set up for the Xbox 360 and I'll show you how it runs okay guys here I have a uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remax whatever connected to the uh, 360 as you can see over there and it's running see there's the uh, the board working LED's working awesome so all I gotta do now is just hit start I noticed there's some lag, but I think it's my TV that's doing that because I tried it on different monitors and it runs really fine. I think it's just this 65-inch TV that, that just doesn't, it's a little bit laggy, but it's not that bad. And I can, I can still play this game. Let's see here. I'm going to try and play with one hand. I'm trying, I'm trying guys. I'm not gonna win this one. Yeah. Well as I can see I'm not a good one handed player, but as you can see this is that's how that's how this game runs on a three sixty. You can also press this button. Takes you to the home screen. Uh let me show you the PS3 now. Okay guys, same thing, LED turns on, now it's running on my uh, 
my PS3 over there. And uh, let's see here. Go down to PlayStation. I don't have that many PlayStation 3 games. I have an Injustice demo, in Mortal Kombat 2, and Tekken. I guess I'll show you guys Tekken. Okay. As you can see, thing works awesome. Ball. And I'll probably get my butt whooped once again here. Come on, come on. Oh, God. I can't do the freaking moves anything. Okay, there's uh, there's the PS3. So right now I'm going to show you how I run the Wii. Uh, just one second, guys. Okay, guys. As you can see, I disconnected the um, 361, the PS360 Plus, off this. Now the connector is connected to the uh, Pee Wee. All I gotta do is close this up. Turn on the Wii. There goes the Wii. Now on the Wii, the LEDs don't want, uh, don't work. Um, the only thing that does work is, of course, uh, the home and the uh, select button, start, and all the rest of the buttons work. But for the first minute, as you can see, I have to I have to turn on the stupid Wii. Here, there it goes. Now I'm gonna move. See, as you can see, there's a hand right there. It's kind of hard to manipulate. Okay. And I just press A. All right. Press any button. I'm just gonna pick arcade. Let's go with Ryu, of course. And Chun-Li, of course. So, you know, let's make this quick. I'm not gonna go into in depth on this, but uh, I'm just gonna show you if the stick does work. And excuse the shakiness, because um, this iPhone is very hard to to shoot video correctly. Here we go, one-handed fighting. Anyway, I'm not gonna go too in-depth in this. I'm gonna press start, and I'm gonna show you that the home button does work. Okay, there it is. Batteries are dying, because they were old batteries anyway. But uh, yeah, that's my stick, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'll be selling this this thing anytime soon because man, this thing is so awesome. It's insanely heavy though. I have to admit, it does it does have some weight to it. Uh, but you don't notice it when I'm I was playing it with on my lap and it would, really didn't bother me that much. But the thing to just lugging this around, I can just imagine like taking it to like like people's houses and stuff. It would be just it would just be crazy. But um, yeah. Hopefully soon they might make a firmware update or another board for uh, the, the PS4 and the Xbox One. If that happens, for sure, is I'm going to be modding this again. I'll be putting another board in. But uh, as you can see, guys, this is my newest mod. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.